this is Margaret in Windsor. I keep turning around to see if it's going up, and I think my camera goes off at times, etc. And video won't go up. But anyway, um, I want to mention this. And uh, I was listening, well, I'm listening to the news, but especially this morning. Uh, I've forgotten who the woman was. She's one of the new candidates who's running for the uh, presidency under the Democratic Party. Uh, they, there's been quite a few, and they're uh, somewhat younger. But I listened to them being interviewed, and absolutely no one, even O'Rourke, the gentleman from Texas who's running, I think he's running as a Republican, uh, <laughs> nobody can replace Donald Trump as far as I'm concerned. You better be happy you got him unless somebody shows me where he's an Illuminati person. Because the rest of them, have you ever heard Congress telling you the truth? The only place, well, no, I won't say that. Not the only place, because I'm afraid this is going to go off and I'm just going to put it up. None of these newbies would, and they mention how attractive and et cetera, et cetera. Well, kiss my grits. At one time, I was pretty much attractive myself, but, you know, time and experience took care of that. But I've told you about things that you will not hear. Do they mention the global government right up there in uh, New York City with the Rockefeller headquarters? They mentioned the Clintons. I could tell you about the Clintons if I lived to. I was put on jobs. I don't know why. It was horrifying to me what happened. But I've come on, and I know the truth. They can be proven. And somebody will come on here and make a comment to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I hope I get, I live to get up there and tell it. None of these people, when they're criticizing Trump and all this crap, they do not say one word about mind control. They mention what's been, the shooting uh, and blaming the Aussie for the shootings in New Zealand when that's just part of this ongoing mind control. It's got to where... Uh, <laughs> Then I say it or somebody will say, I'm prejudiced. Or, okay, here's the kicker. What do you think's been done to me if it's not a hate crime at the ultimate top of the list? But I'm listening to this crap, and all of these suddenly jump into a presidential election coming up when? And, you know, in a couple of years. They know nothing or telling you nothing other than take your guns away, then everybody's, everything you say, which is taking your civil rights, if you have them, I don't, away. If you don't say exactly African American, or you say anything, they're blaming the shootings over there on in um, New Zealand on the Aussie who's had his land uh, infiltrated, just like New Zealand, just like the UK, Paris, France. And the reason it's been infiltrated, they're sure, sure not going to tell you who created this whole friggin' mess. Uh, and that's why Trump's trying to stop them from coming across the border, the immigrants, is who caused the immigrants and the wars and allowed it to happen to where they're running into other where other people's culture is and saying that it's okay to um, change their culture. Oh, that's all I have to say.